amazing. Yes. Something equally as amazing, the mystery as to why bread goes stale. Yeah. So here to clear it up for us is our kitchen scientist, ourself, Mr. Dan Kohler. Tell us about <laughs> It's always a shame when a, uh, when a loaf of bread goes bad. I, really I, mean, I, I yeah. hate to waste food at home, and I'm sure yeah. everyone here feels the same. And a lot of times we spend we spend time figuring out what to do with stale bread, but I thought I would bring you guys some information at home today of how to avoid stale bread in the first place so that you don't have to make croutons all the time. Okay, so <laughs> how many days before the sell-by date should we buy, be buying bread? This is kind of a myth. So we think that bread only starts going stale once it hits the sell-by date. Actually, technically speaking, from a scientific standpoint, bread starts to go stale the minute you take it out of the oven. As soon as as it's out of the heat, oh. it's going to start changing. So bread is made from two different um, starches. All flour has an amylose and amylopectin. And these are in a crystalline structure, which you can see in this picture right here. They're, when they're dry, they're just completely solid. They're rigid. Now they absorb water. They're going to absorb milk and eggs, whatever you add in there. And they start to become pliant and soft. And that's what we know of as, as really soft, um, squishy, luscious bread. Now, as that bread gets older, the water starts to leave those crystalline structures, structures like we see here and go into the spaces between the structures. So uh, when, it, when bread gets stale, it's actually not getting dry. The moisture is moving to the wrong place. It's moisture migration and starch retrogradation. The starch is crystalline to begin with, then moist, and then it recrystallizes, which leaves us with something Really yeah. tough as a brick. Oh. We have that here. Yeah, you've got some. You've got some stale chips wow. and some stale oh, bread. Stale okay, should we sample these? Oh, oh if God. you'd like, of course. Please do. <laughs> oh now you'll see. There's quite a difference between stale bread and stale chips, and the reason is there's two kinds of staling. There's crumb staling and crust staling. So crumb staling is what we have right here. You can see it's tough. It's really dry, and as the moisture is leaving the interstitial spaces between the molecules, it's actually moving toward the crust, and you can see. That's why on a loaf of bread that's getting stale, the crust will get soft, but yeah. the inside will get hard. Exactly. And chips, yeah. like potato chips, like over here, potato chips and corn chips actually just get kind of squishy because Ugh. they're basically they get, they all, become bendable. They're like all oh crust, right? So all the, the starch has no place, the uh, liquid the has no place to move, but yeah, the crust. They, they're not they're crisp, to be they're bendable. Yeah, yeah. 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 Bendable. yeah. Bendable. Now, if you want to keep your bread perfect, I'd su suggest one of two things. Either keep it in the freezer or keep it on the counter. Believe it or not, huh. bread actually is going to go stale even more quickly in in the refrigerator. Okay, this no. is I'm really no. hiding oh, that that is, Now you're so shot. No. You're yeah. telling tales. It's counter or the freezer. And if you're doing it on the counter, if you put it in a plastic bag, it's going to suffocate. If you put it in a paper bag, it's going to dry out in about a day. So, believe it or not, our grandparents oh, knew what they gosh. were doing. Bread oh, boxes wait. are where it's at. But I thought oh, if, you, if it's really? in a warm, moist place, it's going to get mold. Yeah. So here's what's interesting about bread boxes. You put a loaf of bread in here and it creates a micro environment. The bread actually breathes and it, it's going to raise the humidity slightly, what? but because the these things have some gaps in them. You've got air circulation from the room, so it brings it. It brings some circulation and humidity. It's going to extend the life of your bread by about three to four days. What? No, that is. That's amazing. I put mine in my fridge. Mitch, for years yeah. you're Why? putting it in the fridge. You're so wrong. Why? You're wrong. Yeah, but well, when you take it out, what if you take it out and toast it? Yeah. Then you're fine. Toasting is drying, yeah. which is the the opposite of sailing. Remember, staling is not drying, it's moisture migration. Any other questions for the scientist That's here? It's very scientific. <laughs> He's so smart. And by the way, if these are stale chips, I've been eating stale chips for a while. I know, they're really good. They're not I bad. Have, I thought they were own special. Debbie, I, I can't help you with that. I, I feel don't. so bad. I so threw you under the truck out there. Oh! I, Really bad. Well played. Waiting. He well was waiting played. the entire segment. segment. No, it's fascinating. It's good to know. We're going to come right back. More from the family. You guys stick around. You've been waiting. That was awesome.